you can choose to create swap space, which is used as virtual memory when your computer runs out of physical RAM. No swap means no space is created. It saves the disk space suitable for systems with a large amount of RAM, like 16GB and more, where swap is rarely used. But on another hand, if your system runs out of RAM, it may crash instead of falling back on swap. The second option, swap no hibernate, it creates a swap partition, but it's not large enough to allow hibernation. The swap with hibernate creates a swap partition large enough to store the system's RAM content, enabling hibernation. And the last option, swap to file, uses the swap file instead of a dedicated partition. It is easier to resize compared to a swap partition and more flexible, but it has slightly slower performance. That's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful Linux videos. But this is it for today. I'll see you next video. Bye now.